you know, Spike was one of our, as a band, was one of our best friends and yeah. like beyond inner circle. I remember like watching, we, we all watched videotapes of, uh, VHS videotapes of uh, Streets of San Francisco and other shows and we were like, okay, that, they were like, we were like, that would be awesome if we could actually pull off our own version of that. We kind of set out to do one thing and we captured a bunch of it, but we actually ended up making something completely different. We literally, we bought a car that was about to die and we um, had some kind of like loose shooting purpose, but not, you know, it's not like we had fire department or any of the stuff that we should have had like with the car. And we just drove the car ourselves. We, we almost killed the car a couple of times, but we definitely didn't come close to killing ourselves. The, the 70s kind of, became ripe for the picking in the 90s. Like before that, they, they were cellared. Like I remember when we, we made a, a video for the Paul's Boutique album called Hey Ladies. And so that was 1989 and people were really not ready for that because they weren't comfortable yet returning to the 70s. It was like, it was still gross to them. Like the whole like, polyester and bell bottoms and you know, the, the, the whole aesthetic it hadn't, it, it wasn't, it literally, it hadn't come of seller age yet. In terms of Paul's Boutique coming out and people not wanting to hear it, it's a complicated issue, you know? It's like, I think on the, well, the, way, the main thing is people sort of knew us for one thing, and instead of us giving them that at all, we were like completely disinterested in that. You know, our whole thing is like, okay, how do we go totally beyond that? How do we make something that's completely different than what we made before it, um, that yeah, it's still a rap record, but is just totally different. You know, that's what we, and it's we kind of like how we looked at each of our records, but it, 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 in, in Paul's Boutique's case, when it came out, that was not something people were comfortable with or ready for or wanting to hear. They're like, wait, this, it doesn't have a fight for it to party on. It doesn't have this, doesn't have, you know, it didn't check any of the boxes for them. Um, Whatever, we were lucky. We had, we got to actually have a career and keep making records so then people could circle back to it and it eventually became like this record where people were like, oh, that that, that was always my favorite uh, record those dudes made. Parliament Live. Well, it's really about the spaceship. See, that was the thing. They went on tour with a fucking spaceship. Say no more.